There are three things that he said, and I want us to just go through three things that he said. I want everything that we experience at the first and second for you to. He said, everybody is a spiritual being. Someone said, I'm a spiritual being. You know, God made you a spirit. But the way you have the transportation, the car, if you want to move from Spinters Road to Accra Mall, you're supposed to sit in a car. When God made you a spirit, he's supposed to transport you from where he made you, that's in the heavens, onto the earth. So the, the car God made, the vehicle, was your body. So the original you is a spirit that is inside of this particular body. And because the original you is inside of this particular body, if you live life or you move in life with just your physical eyes, anybody at all can frustrate you. Anybody at all can fight you. But when you are a powerful person, it's difficult for somebody to disturb you. And the second thing he said was this. Let me give an illustration. He said in life, please can you come? He said in life, be very, very careful who shakes your hands. He says in life, be very, very careful who shakes your hands. He says when people shake hands in the spiritual realm, there is an exchange taking place. He says many people, their stars have been transferred because of shaking off their hands. When somebody has a spirit powerfully in the spiritual realm, and when I say somebody is powerful spiritually, it's not only a person that is a Christian that is powerful. If an occultic person is powerful more than you, they can fight you. That's right. So it's not about you opening your mouth and say, I'm a Christian with no power. Because now we have Christians with no power. They open their mouth and say, I'm a Christian, but in the spiritual realm, they are lightweight like paper. Any wind can blow them. Yeah. You're supposed to get to the realm. How do you become powerful? By fasting, prayer, reading the word of God, taking the communion, leading a holy life. This makes you very powerful. He says, somebody can just shake your hands like this and can transfer something from the person into you or can transfer something from you onto the person. And he gave an illustration that somebody can hold your hands and shake your hands. And they can shake your hands like this. And the moment the individual is doing these two things that they are checking, they are checking whether you are powerful spiritually. He says sometimes when you see a lot of dignitaries, when they meet together, or before anything at all, you see that they are doing something like that. Each of them is checking each other. Which one is more powerful? My if God. you are more powerful, I can work with you. Or you are not powerful, I can throw you away. Wow. Today, I speak from this altar. Jesus. The same grace that went from the first and second service. Yes, Lord. If somebody has held your hands Jesus. and has transferred something from you Jesus. by the reason of the blood of Jesus, Jesus. I bring a restoration right now. Amen. Let there be a restoration now. I receive it. So, that's what he said. But from my little knowledge, let me tell you something. To buttress his point and to know is, is the truth. When somebody goes to a soothsayer, or somebody goes to a malam. Or somebody goes to juju. What's the first thing they ask them to do? What, what the first thing they ask them to do? They tell you, open your hands and let me read your destiny. My God. And on Christmas, there was preaching a, ser a sermon here about stars. And I made you know that your stars appear on your forehead and also in your hands. That's why somebody can say, let me, let me see your hands. And they can look into somebody and we call them palm... Readers. Palm readers. readers. When somebody wants to go and check their destiny, says, I'm going to a palm reader. But my destiny is my future. Why are you checking my palms? So my, fu my future is in my hands. So my hands can represent a mirror. The same way you stand in front of a mirror and you can see yourself or you want to see something inside of the mirror, your palms are like a mirror. An individual can watch your hands and can see where you will be in the next 20 years. And imagine a wrong person see your next 20 years. It's either they stop it or they divert it to their side. But the same grace in this house. If peradventure, knowingly or unknowingly, there has been a transfer. Let the God of the testimony city, let there be a turn around by fire. Some shall fire. So I, I now know why that David said, Thou anoint my head with oil. I also know why David also said, Don't lack, don't let your head lack oil. What's the meaning? If I'm supposed to anoint my head everybody every day, it means I have oil in my hands. 
So if I have all you in my hands and I meet you and I shake your hands, I don't care how you can transfer because my hands are oiled and anointed. There is no way you can ever so he said he said this to us that just by holding of hands and i've also made you to know in this said that it's not only holding of hands that destinies are changed your feet also signifies your destiny your feet Anybody who is great in the spiritual realm is about the, the shoe they are wearing in the spiritual realm or their feet. When John the Baptist met Jesus, give it to me. And John the Baptist said, The Jesus coming after me, he's so powerful. I'm not the person, I'm not even worthy to untie the soles of the shoe or the sandals. What's the meaning? He's going to know that because he's greater than me, his shoes are also great. So in the spiritual realm, your shoes signifies your power. So these two things, Jesus. your foot and your hands are very dangerous in the spiritual realm. Why can somebody go to somewhere and an individual can only take soil from where they have stood and they can end their lives? Because your life, so somebody hear me? Human being, you are a spiritual being. You can move in life with your bare eyes. If you joke, he says, he is the one who comes after me. The tongues of whose sandals I'm not worthy to untie. Give me 26. What he said about him first, 26. He says, I baptize you with what? I baptize with water, John replied. But among you stand one, one you don't know. And his foot, his sandals, I'm not even worthy. I'm not strong to take it. The 28 goes on, on to say, this all happened at Bethany, the other side of the Jordan, where John was baptizing. So how can he say that? Listen to me. If you meet somebody who is great, why are you going to say that I can't touch his shoes? He was using the shoes as a metaphor that the greatness of the man is connected to his shoes. Your hands right now, who has seen something in your hands? Your hands are like mirrors. Sometimes somebody can, and it's true. Somebody can be, some can shake you like more than five minutes. They will be checking and they will be weighing you. That can they transact even a business with you? What is the capacity you carry? But today by the anointing. No, 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 listen, listen, to, listen to me. If Christians knew the power they carried. Now the question is, why all these thousands of people following one man? It's normal. Do you know the reason why it's normal? Because Jesus, that's how they follow Jesus. But in our days now, it seems abnormal. It's not normal. Why? Because Christians, we don't know what we carry. He says something. He says, people all over the Congo now were just telling everybody, ah, he has passed somewhere. Now my issue is the Bible says, and crowd followed Jesus. Let's go to Luke chapter 6 verse 17. Let's see something there. When he went down with them, they stood in a level place. A large, a large crowd. A large crowd. Of his disciples were there, and a great number of people from all over Judah, Judea were there, Thai and Sidon, a large people. Let's go. Who had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. So why were the crowd there? For two reasons. To hear the word of God and for healing. So hear me. Every sermon, every church who can preach the word of God with no demonstration is not a Jesus ministry. It's not a Jesus ministry. I want to follow Jesus ministry. When they hear him, after hearing, something happens. That's why we can never come here and live here. Never. When I even come to church and I don't hear testimonies, I, I feel that we didn't pray. Because there's got to be physical evidence. It says, and they came to hear him. But now, we've made church about hearing him only. So I come and I hear. If it's only about me hearing him, then I could have gone to the lecture hall. Because in the lecture hall too, I go to hear my lecturer. But my lecturer cannot heal me. When I come to church, I'm supposed to hear and also heal. I command you with power now. 
enjoy strength power on every side of your destiny yes. so that I am powerful I am powerful L listen, listen, listen to me the reason why you're supposed to be powerful is this is for one reason because if another person is powerful who is not powerful on God's side they can use their power to waste you somebody was telling me the other day the last time I think the first time we traveled to Volta region um, when Auntie Doreen's mother died and we had to go and do direction in, um, in a place for them, in a house. So when we were coming, we got to a particular town and one of the pastors said, Prophet, this particular town is a dangerous town. I said, why? He said, in this town, this is what people can do over there. I said, what can they do? He said, when somebody goes to collect juju, they can come and stand in somebody's farm and throw the juju there. And I said, why? And they said, they are, they are throwing the juju there to check whether the juju is working. So if it's working, all the things you have planted, all of them will spoil. I, I, I became quiet for five minutes. Ah, so, so it's, it's like, they, and he said sometimes, they use the juju on somebody. Whether the person will die. If the person that don't have the juju is working. So they use human beings as a specimen or a try and error and as an experiment. If, oh my God, that, me too. The power of God I carry. I'm about to enter into the camp of the witches. We are also about to do try and error. Whoever is against you, hey, let's all do try and error. Be on your feet. Hey, when they told me, I said, really? They said, Papa, 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 that's what happens. When I was saying right now, I saw this brother talking to this brother. Is it true? It happens there. Micro, one man, a microphone, no Before Thank you. It's true. That was the name of the town. It's called Mami Water. The name of the town is called Mami Water. The name of the town is called Mami Water. It's true. Because me who come say, hey, come in the front of my mother, say, Papa, how do you? I try an error place. Obviously, because you juju or say, so they can do exchange. Okay, you have found quite a say, oh, what you know, what you know. So people are on who are and then you have to try an error. Power now, you receive you in the first and second service. You have a trial, you feel. Stretch your hands in your house. Say any devil, any, devil, any, human, being, any human being among my friends, among my friends relatives, relatives that, is progress, that is against my progress that wants me to die. Me to die. Let, power, let power, let tender, let tender from the altar, from the altar. Cross, your cross your agenda, cross your agenda. So we shall power, power, so cross. cross. By tomorrow morning, when something happens, what oh, you oh, My God, my God, my God. When some people begin to call you to confess, it means I hear you, ma. Say power. power. Say, say I'm a living testimony. I am a living testimony. Say I'm a living testimony. I am a living, I am a living testimony. testimony. Say, I work in power. I work, I work in power. power. Say power. Power. My God. This man, this man coming to Ghana. Has made me crazy and not to the next another level crazy. My God, what is about to happen here will become dangerous. Sit down for a minute. Yes, have five minutes to go. So, how can somebody shake a hands and anything can happen for no reason? Like the day they brought this woman here. Oh, is your mother here? Your mother is not here today. This lady brought the mother here. Now the mother is well. When the mother came, she couldn't walk. In course of prophecy, God opened my eye. I called the woman out and I said, Ah, I have seen that. The moment, the moment I saw, I said, I've seen something. I stopped. Because I didn't believe what I was seeing. I said, ah, I see something and I stopped. I said, No, what I'm about to say, I don't want to say, Ah. They would say, Papa, say, say, say. I said, I said, Auntie, I don't know you. But I've seen this woman sitting on the roadside selling Auntie Corn. This is a corn. The mother selling corn. And I've seen somebody who is also selling corn on the side. Saying that all the cars that come and pack, the customers are coming to you. So I've taken soil from you and I've made you paralyzed. And the woman was paralyzed. That was the first time here. So when I saw the prophecy, I didn't want to say because how can you make me paralyzed because of corn? So I thought I was not seeing it well. So I said, ah, why? Does she, are you a corn farmer or something? But I, I saw corn, I saw juju. Then I said, then the lady stood and said, Prophet, this is my mother. That's why I brought her here for the first time. She has been paralyzed because a lady there said, why are the cars, when the cars park, they don't come to me, they come to you. And there's another person there too, that the, lady, the, the, the same lady did that thing, particular thing to the person. So they're afraid of the person. I said, no way. 
We gave a direction. We did direction. The paralysis left. The woman can walk now. And in the grace of God, that woman who did that now, she has fallen down. Amen. My God. We've got to see significance of the power that God has given to us. Yes. Otherwise, somebody can waste you off. But mine not you. Amen. I said mine not you. Amen. You shall be corrosive to the devil. Yes. Say, I'll be corrosive to the devil. I'll be corrosive to the devil. Say, don't be afraid of me. Don't be afraid of me. Let me give you the last one. Say, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Yesterday, a, 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 um, a brother called me. He works at Kukubo. I think he's at Sefi area. He called me and said, Prophet, please, I want my mother and my family members to come and see you. The guy's a, a, a church member from day one, but he's in um, Western North now, so it's a long time. He's not come. So I, I said, why is a proper? Even if it's me that I'm supposed to leave, say we to come. I have to come in. I said, why? I said, Papa, two weeks ago, a sister died. Their sister, first sister died. So I said, why do they want to come and see me? And they said the sister had an argument. Look at it. Too. The reason why I go crazy about some of these things. The sister had an argument with a fetish priest of Confort. And the sister, I think the sister poured water on the Confort. And the comfort said, Then the sister's feet got swollen and the sister died. And the comfort now told them, Now that your, your, your sister is dead, if your family members don't bring me about seven sheep, when you bury her, after burying, all of you will go. So now all of them are panicking because I don't know them. So it's this guy that's a western of now, they have now told him, say, Papa, I want them to come and see you. I said, Hey. So you, you, you people have sat down for comfort to kill your sister. And now the comfort said, bring cow, a sheep, and plus money. Hey! Church, if you're not per 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 powerful, somebody can waste you. Ah, Jesus. I speak power. Yes, Lord. Listen, in the spiritual realm, the only language that is understandable is the language of power. Is the language of power. Today I came to place power on you. Amen. May you see far. See May it. you go far. Amen. Ancestral powers Jesus. will never work against you. Amen. Son, I am powerful. I am powerful. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Lift up your right hand.